When ANZ Olympic ambassador Hamish Carter began his iGolf game changer journey, his swing looked like this. Oh. But the Institute of Golf soon solved his slice. <laughs> that was it. Look at that. Right. That, that was sensational. Craig Dixon then made sure Hamish went from hacking out. Oh, nuts. To splashing out of those dreaded bunkers. They all come out all right. <laughs> Job done. There we go. Fix. Next, Guy Wilson perfected his putting. Okay, good. Follow through. Awesome. Oh, money. But there was one goal in mind. If I can pass my mates next month and beat them, fantastic. So today we're here for the game with a couple of mates and it's going to be the chance to put everything into practice that I've learnt from the best in the business. My game should have improved, so, you know, we'll find out once we tee off. Oh, I've seen him hucking around a little bit on the, uh, on the TV, so I don't know if he's improved or not. We'll see. We got a text last night saying we weren't allowed to practice, but then he's just been down there on the range warming up, so already on the back foot, but I think despite not playing recently, we're pretty confident to take him down. I think to have guys, my caddy, is, um, is pretty cool. I think it's going to be great to have some advice along the way. Yeah, being the, the looper for, for Hamish today is probably going to be a little bit more difficult than, than carrying for Lydia. Um, although, you know, if he, if he gets the ball off the tee uh, into the fairway and then gets out of those bunkers really easy and holds putts, then it shouldn't be a problem. I'm I think I'm over here, here it's, oh, it's, 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 I'm thinking we'll, we'll walk for Lydia. <laughs> How much have you been practicing, Hamish? Not much. <laughs> I just don't know why I signed up for this. What did we learn in the putting lesson the other week? Um, just hold that finished position. All right, make it yeah. look good. All right. Guy soon had Hamish's game back on track. Oh, there there you go. Day. Um, Where's the um? Hamish's strong point. Um, obviously putting. Um, world class coach there giving him some tips. If he doesn't get control of that driver, doesn't really shut that face down then I think we may spend a bit of time in the trees. Lydia, where are you? It's a lot easier when I'm carrying your back. Give it a clean in place. Mark it first, mark it first. Oh, Get your... Mark it there. <laughs> <laughs> you can't mark it with a leaf. That is, this is going to go straight up. OK, here we this go. This is going to go straight in. OK, hit down on it. Yeah? Yep. Set. Oh, that worked. Of course it works. Thank you. All right. Jeez. We're on the grain. Might as well play by myself. There you go. Remember this? Oh, yeah. Brilliant. OK. $2,000 putter. Oh. All the gear. No idea. Yeah. See that tree here and here? Yeah. Don't hit it at those. So in the, the one in the middle? Yes, please. Yeah, OK. Easy, Lydia would do that real easy. <laughs> I like when you can walk straight down the fairway like this. And... Do you not often walk down the fairway? No, nah, a lot more variety in my game. Okay. Well, you're either having to come back from a fairway over or two. Yeah. Or play sort of a semi trick shot. Trick shot. Trick shots like his mates play. Well, we're in a bit of trouble here. Got to thread the needle. Uh, got to keep the the, the uh, height down. So I'm going to go with the birdie putter uh, from off the green. We'll see. We'll see how it works out. You're going to thread the needle. Pretty good shot. You obviously don't chip too often. As a good friend of mine once said, your worst putt is better than your best chip. Hamish using his flat stick in a more conventional manner. Yes. <laughs> Round today, from tee to green, solid off a tee. Um, hit a few screamers down the middle, hit a couple of wayward shots, which we kind of expected. If I could say there was one piece that was probably the biggest game changer, was his shots out of the trees. His pudding was pretty strong. As soon as he got back, Scotty Cameron put him in hand. I think he uh, turned around. Good part. Oh. With a bit of work, he could become a good golfer. One shot back, mate. This is the last three kilometres of your race. Let's push it. Yes. Today was, yeah, it was great. I think off the tee was all right. That was pretty solid. I was pretty pleased to tie it up at the end. Pour it in, mate. Yes. There it is. But could Hamish be an Olympic golfer? That was harder than it looked. 
Bottom line is Rio 2016 for golf is, is just definitely not an option for me. He should just stick to his day job, pounding those pavements, riding a bike and swimming in water. No golf at all.